Alright, so welcome back everybody. So welcome back to Minecraft, and welcome back to my zoo. So, uh, I've definitely added a lot more animals since the last time I made a video, so um, even though it wasn't very long ago, I've been, been a busy bee working on this zoo, and it's almost done. I still have quite a few animals to go, but I've got over half of the zoo done, so... Um, I still have at least one more, actually, I still have one more big building to finish, and it's going to be probably the biggest building thus far, because it's going to have uh, three species of mammals inside at least, one species of fish, and uh, at least um, uh, three species of birds. So it's going to be the biggest indoor building thus far that uh, I've, I've been working on. It'll be the last building as well. And then we have at least three more other animals that will be outside. And they're also quite large animals as well. Especially one of them. Actually, two of the three are humongous animals. So quite a bit of uh, animals still to add to this zoo. But uh, let's take a look and see what uh, I have added since the last time we were here. And uh, see if we can get some behind the scenes, uh, a behind the scenes tour of some of the uh, areas we weren't able to get a behind the scenes tour last time. So let's check the zoo out. So obviously we have to go in the normal way. So we go through the area here. Thankfully, there's no line today, so I don't have to wait. Okay, so one thing you'll notice right away is now I have a gift shop here. It's very plain, if you ask me, of a gift shop. But there are some choice items in here. Um, there are uh, basically cars in here that you can purchase at the gift shop. We'll pretend that they're actually like race cars or something. And then there's boats in here you can uh, uh, purchase as well. And then at this gift shop also has... Uh, protector spray in case a predator was to break out you could or in case you were to go into the wild you could protect yourself with protector spray but this this gift shop is also selling newts so you can buy a newt if you want a newt is a pet yes it's kind of strange for a zoo to sell pets but oh well this is minecraft so we'll make do it's still a pretty cool uh, gift shop item to buy which is actually more of an animal obviously right so if you remember, this is where the African elephant is, and obviously that hasn't changed at all. Now, you'll remember this building. This was the very first building I built, and inside we had uh, rollaway monkeys and other types of cool animals, right? And I think we'll come back here later, because I think we'll finally get permission to go to, uh, to see the behind-the-scenes area of this building. Now, the reason why... Um, we weren't able to get into it last time was because the behind the scenes area was still under construction. It wasn't completely done. And now there's even more enclosures that uh, you can access through the behind the scenes area. Of course, those enclosures you can still see as a zoo visitor. Okay, so let's head to that building first. And then obviously this is also new as well. This is where the Florida Panthers are located. So this exhibit has Florida Panthers. So obviously this exhibit is brand new. And look, there's one right there. Ooh, he's moving so fast. But there's, I think there's two in here. Oh, there's one. And obviously this is a dangerous animal, so behind the scenes is not allowed for this animal. Okay. But still, at least you got to see him. Yeah, cool. So that's the Florida Panther. Oh, there's the other one. See, I told you there was two in here. The other one is hiding in the corner back there, I bet. So anyways, this is kind of a nice little enclosure for them. Um, anyways, let's move on. And um, head on down this direction. Now, uh, this area here that you're looking at to the right is, as you can see, it's still under construction. In fact, if you were to open this door, this is as far as you're going to get. Now, this is actually going to be where the last building is located. It's actually over here. 
This is where the building is. This is the entrance for the large building. It's gonna go over here. Now I actually haven't we haven't decided where the exit is gonna go. Some of us are thinking that maybe we'll have the exit right over here by the entrance and just have you go through a giant, you know, almost like maze, if you will, inside the building. But we're not sure if that's going to work out or not. And then, of course, um, the exit, if the exit doesn't come out over here, it's going to come out over there where the, uh, the last major animals are going to go. So the ones that we haven't added to the zoo yet um, that we're going to get, there's three of them. They're going to be outside, or they're going to be basically at the end of the zoo on that corner there, but back in the distance. So the building could technically also exit out over there. Like I said, we haven't decided yet, so that's as far as we, we've got for that. Now let's see some actual animals here, right? So we have this building here. This is the second building. And you'll notice it's right away that it's different wood. It's jungle wood. And the other building had acacia wood, right? So this is definitely a new building. That means new animals. All right, and once again, it's obviously it has two doors. Oh, and look, we already have an animal over here. So what is this? It is the American horseshoe crab. Okay. Well, there they are, American horseshoe crabs. Kind of reminds me of the. Uh, enclosure for the uh, Lurista Newt, except uh, they're a little bit bigger, a little bit, and there's not nearly as many of them in here. It's also probably maybe a little bit smaller than the Newt enclosure, I'm not sure, or maybe it's a little bit bigger, I can't tell, but it's roughly the same size, at least. So here, yeah, that's our first animal, a crab, the horseshoe crab. So that's cool. So that's our first animal in this indoor building. And then obviously we have a nice staircase here that will take us up to the second floor, so let's head on up. And this is kind of an interesting one. So it is not going to be exactly the same as the last building because I've changed a few things with this look. So first of all we have uh, the three-toed sloth in this enclosure. Ooh, and there they are down there. And you can even sometimes see them up here walking around uh, in the uh, canopy, if you will. And uh, there's even some water for them right there as well, sort of. Let's go down and see them, though. So see, we have this area here that is a dead end, basically, but you can, it's, it gives you a second uh, option at looking at the slops. So if they're not high in the canopy and down here in the ground instead, you can um, maybe get a better shot at, at, with your camera, I mean, uh, at the uh, sloths down here. So there's a few of them in there for sure. So three-toed sloths. So this is their exhibit. Now there's not very many animals in this building. So this is like the, I want to say this is like the second largest, um, this is definitely the second largest animal in here uh, for sure. So, um, and it, there's only two mammals in this whole building. So that's the three-toed sloth. Okay, so nice uh, way of being, being able to view them. You can view them from two different uh, locations. Before we head on downstairs to the first floor, there's actually a third floor here. See, that's different, right? The other building did not have a third floor. And so here we have our third floor and our next animal, which is the marine iguana. So here it is. We have some marine iguanas here. Look, there's quite a few of them up here already. This is actually, a once again, this is another enclosure that's going to have two different angles that you can view them. So if they're not up here, you can view them in the first floor and see if they're down there. Um, now, these marine iguanas really like to climb. So even though they're excellent swimmers, they really, really like to climb. At least in Minecraft they do. So I decided that I would make this a slightly bigger enclosure for them, so that way they could climb to their heart's content by having uh, basically three floors. Now even though they have three floors, you can't really see them if they're on the second floor. You can only see them if they're on the third floor or the first floor. You might be able to see them in some spots on the second floor, but there's a couple of spots where you can't see them on the second floor because there isn't a way to see their enclosure from the second floor, obviously. Um, but maybe we'll get to do a behind-the-scenes tour and then we'll be able to see them 
in the enclosure. So here's the first floor enclosure of the marine iguana. And see, they're down here as well. And you see what I mean by uh, you can't see the second floor? The second floor is back there behind that cave-like entrance, so you can't really see anything back there too well. Um, that basically gives them some, some place to basically not have anyone bother them, if you will. Unlike the other animals who have, like, dens that they can go and sit inside and not have to worry about people uh, bothering them too much if they just need some alone time. Even animals need alone time, after all. Well, I thought the iguanas could use an, a spot for alone time as well, so I made it so that way the second floor area would be almost impossible to see them anywhere up there. So, if they're there, then you won't be able to see them. But, there's so many in here that there is a good chance you'll you shouldn't have any trouble finding at least one in here somewhere, whether it's the third floor or the, uh, obviously, the first floor. So, still, really cool. Marine iguanas. Awesome enclosure. Definitely, uh, uh, definitely a good enclosure for them. Then over here, right next door, is the giant anteater. So the giant anteater enclosure is inside. I was originally going to put them outside, but you know what? This enclosure is actually bigger than you think. The giant anteater here, and there's two of them, is actually a two enclosure uh, building. There's the building that you can see that they're indoor, and there's an outdoor enclosure for them as well. So if it's too cold, they can be locked inside. They also have a den back there, so they have an area where they can be alone if they need to be. But they also have this nice indoor enclosure as well as a nice outdoor enclosure as well. So. Let's go ahead and see their outdoor enclosure. So let's leave this building, because that's all there is to see in this building. Like I said, smaller building for sure, and um, obviously the next building is going to be much bigger. There's going to be much more enclosures, much more animals in the, the third and last building. So look forward to that for sure. I know I am. So we come over here, and... Um, uh, the first thing you'll notice is this wall here. This is actually, everything behind this wall is under construction. So all the outdoor animals that I still have yet to add are on the other side of this wall. So the enclosures that I'm working on are over there. So uh, obviously we don't want you to just look at areas that are under, under construction still, obviously, right? So when they're when it's all done, this wall probably won't still be here. We'll probably tear down most of this wall, if not all of it, depending on um, how big certain enclosures are going to be. One is definitely going to be ginormous for an enclosure, um, probably bigger than even the tiger. I mean, ooh, did I say tiger? Yes, yes, one of the animals we're getting is a tiger, and it's going to go over there. So its enclosure is going to probably be bigger than the lion enclosure, or at least as big at least as big. So, anyways, over here we have another viewing area where you can see the giant anteaters in their outdoor enclosure. Oh, see, there he is. There he is, right, right over there. So he's got a nice tree over here on this outdoor enclosure. And these things here are like termite mounds. So, you know, they can get themselves some termites from there. And, of course, we obviously feed them insects here. So, uh, you know, there's plenty of food for them if they get hungry. But, yes, uh, so they have a nice outdoor enclosure so they can get some sunlight. And uh, if it gets too cold, then we can lock them inside their indoor enclosure. So it's very, definitely very functional to have this type of enclosure. I wish I could do this for all of the animals. For sure, ooh, they, they, he actually climbed up that for a second. It's a good thing I didn't. It's a good thing we made it so he couldn't climb any higher than that. But still, um, very cool enclosure for them, for the giant anteater here. So let's uh, move on. Oh, what's over here? There is another ex enclosure right over here. So even so, if you manage to go in through the zoo, and you came through the entrance of the other side. Technically, this side is also an entrance, too, for the second building. But if you saw the anteater over here, you'd be like, oh, this is the f first time I've seen the giant anteater over here. And then, let's say you didn't see the giant anteater because it was indoors or something like that. Well, 
Then we have these animals over here that you can see. The markhor is over here, and they're humongous. So this is their enclosure right here. Quite big and large for sure, but they're also very large and tall. I did not expect them to be so tall. I'm glad I made the enclosure a little extra taller, because they are pretty tall animals for sure. So yep, yeah, these are markhors. So like I said, if you did see the giant anteater already, then you can come over here and you can still see yourself an animal you haven't seen in this exact viewing area. If you are viewing the giant anteaters the first time, because you haven't gotten into the building yet, well, even though you might get to see them here, there's at least a few animals besides the giant anteater inside of that building, like the three-toed sloth and the marine iguanas, right? So there's something interesting to see in that building if you end up coming this direction or if you end up going that direction, there's something over here that you can view, which are these markhors. So, uh, I I'm, I'm, don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, markhor, but um, that's that's how you uh, spell it, uh, exactly how you spell it. So I'm not sure, exactly 100% sure if that's how you pronounce it or not, but anyways. So let's move on. So let's go down here. Uh, obviously there's another behind the scenes section there. But what animals are over here, you might think, you'll be thinking. Oh, here's another door here. Uh, obviously, another behind-the-scenes section. But, obviously, uh, what animals over here? Now, you're probably thinking, ooh, there's a couple of doors here. This is the entrance and exit of the first building. So, if you remember correctly, last time here, none of this was here. Nothing on this side of the building was here whatsoever. None of this was here. So, this is all still new. And if you remember correctly, the giraffe is down this uh, direction here to the right. So all of the buildings, all of the enclosures, all of this is new right here. So over here, we have actually two enclosures here, three enclosures in this area. So this is the viewing area for the secretary birds. There's one that back there. Oop, there's one over there. There's one over there. Okay, so these birds... Um, are pretty cool. They also eat uh, meat, I believe. <clears throat> yes, they eat meat. So, um, uh, so, but they're not as dangerous as something else. Most birds uh, that eat meat aren't necessarily very dangerous either. But still, uh, pretty cool birds, secretary birds. When I first saw them, I was thinking, well, why did they add these animals and not the ostrich or something like that? But, you well, know, they're Pretty, they're bigger than I thought they'd be, for sure. So, anyways, we have the secretary birds over here. And then over here, we have the scimitar oryx, or orcs. So, uh, here they are. So, another big uh, species of antelope right here. Um, obviously, they have themselves a nice enclosure here, too, right? So, now, this is still technically Africa. Same thing with the secretary birds. So I wasn't completely done with all of the species of animals that live in Africa. So because we have these guys here, for instance. So anyways, that's a scimitar oryx, secretary birds. And we still have one more animal over here. One of my favorites, in fact. Oh, and I apologize. I forgot to put the sign up. Hold on. Only take a sec. There we go. Whew. All right, so here we go. We have the okapi. This is the, ooh, he ran away. These animals are very shy. They're also very rare, and very elusive animals. It's hard to find them in the wild, but they live in Africa, and uh, they're the closest living relative to, to the giraffe. I know they might look like a zebra because of their legs there, or sort of like zebra, zebra legs, right? But they're actually the closest relative to the giraffe. And they're fairly tall, too. I mean, Minecraft doesn't do them justice. They're a lot taller than that, if you ask me. I've seen them in real life, so I know they're tall. Not as tall as a giraffe, honest, obviously, but still tall. And they live in, uh, I believe, the Democratic Republic of Congo. At least I think that's where they live. Anyways, like I said, hard to find in the wild. Uh, obviously rare, rare animals, but very beautiful indeed. And uh, this is definitely one of my most favorite animals 
this is this animal here was actually the whole reason I decided to build this zoo on this uh, safari map because uh, or safari map pack because they had the okapi in here. Well, and the marine iguana, iguana too, honestly, that's cool. But the aqua, the okapi here is the main reason. So beautiful animal. I'm glad that this animal is here. Very very cool. So anyways, let's move on and. Obviously, we have the sign up for the Okapi now. Can't believe I forgot that. So, and then of course we have a nice little sitting area here. So, and obviously this is kind of cool. There's like it's like a it's a viewing area for three separate species of animals. That's really cool. All right, so let's move on. So, and then if you were to continue in this direction, obviously there's you can see that's the Oryx enclosure, and then the painted dogs are over there. And obviously the giraffes are over here, and nothing else has changed, with the exception that the enclosure is big for the oryx. Now we're, the only, so let's go ahead and do a behind-the-scenes tour of um, that building that we have not done a behind-the-scenes tour of. We'll do that real quick. That'll be the last thing we do for this video, um, since we have permission from the zoo, the zoo, uh, zoo staff and zookeepers to to. Uh, do the behind the scenes tour obviously of the building now remember this is actually two buildings and the the zoo staff uh, can access both buildings through this one door so that's mighty convenient and obviously we have a sign here that tells you this is the exit so if you ever get lost or something like that right so uh, the first thing we have over here is the rollaway monkey so this is the uh, enclosure for the rollaway monkey, and we push this button, and it gives them some fruit. I like their fruit. And uh, there's another door here. The reason why there's another door here is if we needed to separate a monkey or two, and we needed to separate them from the rest of the rest of the group, uh, we could close them in right here and still have access uh, through this doorway if we, if need be. So um, that's why there's two doors here. Anyways, so this is the indoor enclosure for the Railway Monkeys. If you uh, saw the last video, you got to see them from the visitor side only. But this is what it looks like if you were actually in the enclosure with them. Remember, I'm a zoo volunteer, so I just happen to be allowed to come in here and show you guys. Um, uh, normally I wouldn't be allowed inside an enclosure with an actual monkey, of course, but this is Minecraft, so it works just fine. And it's not like we're inside with a, a lion or something like that, right? So, not that uh, these guys aren't dangerous in their own right. But anyways, so this is what the indoor of the uh, rollaway monkey enclosure looks like. Let's uh, move on and make sure we don't... Uh, let any monkeys escape. All right. Okay, so then if you were to take a left in this direction here, this takes you to the uh, kitchen. So this is where the zoo staff can prepare diets and things like that. They can do it in this building. And then if you were to continue on in this direction, it takes you to the Luriston Newt enclosure. Now, we won't go inside because it's such a small enclosure, but obviously there's two doors here, just like most of the other enclosures. So, uh, anyways, if you remember the the uh, the newts, you can go and watch them for the first video if you uh, forgot what they looked like. But anyways, that's their enclosure there. Now I know it seems kind of silly to have that whole walkway just for some newts. It's just how it worked out. That's why I put the kitchen here because we had so much space for a kitchen in this vicinity anyway. So anyways, and technically, if you think about it, the rollaway monkey is technically in this direction. I mean, if there was a, a wall right here, then technically it would for sure be in this direction. Okay, so then the rest of the indoor animals in the two buildings are in this direction here. First, we have the American Horseshoe Crab. They're in this exhibit, and we're just going to take a quick spy on the enclosure. So you see here's Horseshoe Crabs. So that's their indoor enclosure. And then if you continue going th this direction, we have the rest of the animals. So in here we have the bearded vultures and the ground hornbills. We won't go in there with them, but there's a, you can see that there's a hornbill right there in the corner. 
that's another reason why we're not going to go in. But yeah, there's a hornbill right there. And, um, and there's one over there. So that's their, obviously, their enclosure for them. And then this is the pangolin enclosure down here. So, um, you know what? Let's go inside real quick. So here we go. Here's the pangolins. Now you can see them a little bit better. They look a little bit better this close up, that's for sure. And obviously this is the uh, first floor viewing area of the pangolins. And then up there is obviously um, the second viewing area of the pangolins. But anyways, that's the pangolin enclosure. Hey, move buddy, move. There we go, don't wanna step on you. And uh, don't want to, you to escape either. Okay, there we go. That's the pangolin enclosure. Okay, then the rest of the animals that we just recently added are over here too. So this is the giant anteater enclosure over here. Um, we're not going to go in with them because they're potentially dangerous. Uh, they don't have a steel door like the lion enclosure, but still they could potentially be dangerous in real life. But yes, that's the giant anteater. Uh, this is the marine iguanas. Um... And then over here we have the three-toed sloths. So let's take a look at these guys first. So obviously this is their enclosure. So you can see uh, it's kind of a nice enclosure for them, for sure. And you can even climb up here. And they sometimes come up here too. I've seen them up here before. So anyways, so yeah, so if uh, you don't see them, up, up there, obviously, you can come down there and look for them. See, they go up there. Anyways, so that's the uh, sloth enclosure. Let's move on. And the last one we'll show you is uh, the uh, marine, igua marine iguanas. So we'll take a quick look at their enclosure. Woo! Sorry. Nice try there, bud. They're fast, aren't they? Woo! That was close. He almost got out. Okay, so uh, this is basically the second floor of the marine iguana enclosure. So they even have a pool here they can swim in. Um, so technically, if they want to swim in this pool, it's more of a private area for them. And then this is the third floor, obviously. But they come up here just as much anyways. And then, obviously, down here is the first floor through here. And they swim in this one, too. So, quite a big enclosure. I, I am very happy with the, the design of this enclosure. It's pretty cool, for sure. And, uh, without letting this guy out. Whew! Alright, he didn't get out. So, that's the behind the scenes of uh, my zoo thus far. That's my zoo thus far. And, uh, so thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys the next time. And that next time will be when the zoo is completely done. So when the zoo is completely done, then we'll be back here once again one more time. See you guys next time. Don't forget to leave a like if you guys liked it.